In Philadelphia, there were six Lanzetti brothers. They were Leo, Pius, Ignatius, Hugo, he was called Willie, Lucian, uh, Teofilo, T-E-O-F-I-L-O, which he was called Teo. One, two, three, four of them were named after folks. Their brother, uh, they were feared. They were numbers runners. They were gunmen for hire when they had to be. They would fight at the drop of a hat. Big time gamblers. Really, their main source of income towards the end of their careers were as narcotics dealers. They also ran bootleg from South Philadelphia way over to Atlantic City in the 1920s and 30s. What they did was they organized this huge alky cooking network. Uh, they went to these row houses they had in Philadelphia, but they still do. Um, and they would go to the residents, mostly Italian Americans or uh, Italian immigrants, and they'd have them cook up this alky. Alky was used as a basis for a uh, liquor, and then it was dangerous. It was, uh, but it was the basis for liquor, and they'd add to it and sell this rock gut stuff. They also made wine for the summer months, uh, but they a lot of the immigrants knew how to do that on their own. They would sell it to to the brothers. Their associates were Louis Fats De La Rosa and Mike Falcone. Those were the those were the muscle men. They, if there was a problem, you sent those two guys in. At various times, the Lanzettis had a fight with just about everybody in South Philadelphia. Their primary anyway, enemy was Mickey Duffy, and they were suspected in Duffy's murder some years later. Between 1924 and 39, what is that, 14 years? The brothers were either suspected in or a material witness in 15 murders. That's one a year, isn't it? More than one a year. Leo, the eldest, was killed. They were violent, and so they, they died off quickly. Leo, who was the eldest, he was essentially the leader. He was killed August 22, 1925, as he left a barbershop at 7th and Brainbridge Street. That was in retaliation for the murder of a dope peddler named Joe Bruno. Uh, he had been killed by Leo and the brother Ignatius four days earlier on 8th and Catherine Streets. Enemy bullets uh, cut down Pius on New Year's Eve in 1936. The bad guys got Willie. And they murdered him July 2, 1939. They became something of a local media fixture during their heyday. Uh, each brother was given a distinctive character trait by the media. And stories about them. Uh, Leo was the leader, Pius was the brains, Ignatius, Ignatius was impeccably dressed, that sort of thing. Lucerne had a bad temper, Willie was a quiet one, Tio was the baby, and he was good looking too. He made women swoon, so the papers said. By the 1940s, or the Lanz Lanzettis had virtually disappeared from the crime scene. Leo, Pius, Willie were dead. Tio was in Leavenworth, is where he ended up, uh, traffic conviction, uh, dope trafficking. Ignatius also went to prison, but under controversial uh, hearings, he was released by a Supreme Court decision under something called a gangster. He would have been jailed under what Jersey called a gangster law, and the Supreme Court said, well, that's illegal, and he had to be let go. They eventually ended up uh, in Detroit, essentially retired from the, from the game.